And Mrs. T. And Mrs. T. Y'all love it, huh? Yeah. It's so big. Yep, it's comfy, huh? Yeah. Brothers here today helping us, checking out on a cabinet. I know they're kind of loud. <laughs> Let me show you the struggle in Louisiana right now. If anyone needs to use a restroom, this is how they're gonna do it. <laughs> We're trying to save the granite. Trying to save whatever we can. We got pepper in there. In the sink. <laughs> How did you even get a chance to clean that thing up? <laughs> It's a mess, y'all. See, they got mold in there. This one is gross. Look in here. If he needs one for the upstairs. So right now we are trying to remove the towel, ceramic towel, and uh, we're heating up this uh, MOE food pack. Show them, how, food. show them how, uh, how hot it is. Just open this thing. See how many heat come out, how much heat coming out. And it's really hot too, it can burn you up. Spaghetti meatball or pasta or something. Let's try them for the first time. We're removing the towel here. This is a pain in the ass. So we got three fourths of the towel up already. You can see. There's only this section left. And then we have the uh, one in the restroom that'll be all Whew. sweating like crazy. So today is almost two weeks since the flood and there is another storm coming. As you can see, it is heavily raining right now. And I just hope that we're not gonna get the same thing again because we're still in the process of rebuilding our home. You know, this makes me want to think about moving to a new place to live. This is sucks. But you know, even some people say that uh, to move to California. California is a great state, but then, you know, you get earthquake and drought and not enough water and stuff. And other places have, I mean, natural disaster happen everywhere, so you can't really prevent it. But you know, this is where our job, our home, everything, I don't know if we're gonna be able to find a new job where we're gonna move. So it's kind of hard, it's easy to say, you know, but it's not that easy when you think about it. Because our job, my job and everything is here, family and everything is here, so 
as much as I want to, but there is something that you know stopping us from moving to a new place. Right now, I'm walking into Home Depot trying to uh, rent a uh, machine so I can scrape the glue and the towel up. Uh, the last two weeks they were out because many people are using the same thing. So hopefully they have one for me to rent this time. This is my so many attempts in renting this thing. I hope they do have one. So I came into the van and my daughter keep looking at me laughing. Mm. I think there's something behind mm. your hand, huh? There's something underneath your hand. What is it, Adrian? Adrian? You want to look at yourself? <laughs> Move your hand so you can see yourself. Mm. Come on, show them what you got. <laughs> tickle, tickle. <laughs> tickle you. Ew, you put lipstick on? Yeah. Ew, Ew you put it in your teeth. Ew. <laughs> Bad little girl. So again, they are out of the scraping machine. They never have that since the uh, flood. I guess a lot of people are doing the same thing. But man, it's a pain in the butt to go find anything like sheep rocks. The compound stuff to uh, Daddy, join the sheep rock together. Mold controlled everything, you know, to disinfect the house, remove the mold and stuff. Everything are out. Just you know, so hard going shopping anywhere, everywhere now. So guys, I just want to update you guys on how my house is right now. This is outside my garage. As you can see, this is all the stuff that we can save. So basically, my whole house. This is all that I have left. My motorcycle and some of the stuff, toys for the kids, all my paperwork, everything is out here now. Well, not all of them are saved. I still have to uh, clean some of the stuff out from the uh, plastic cabinet there and then just throw that one away too. But as you can see, all of my sheet rocks are cut, insulation are taken out all around the garage, and this is my washing room. My foyer is in there as you can see. But let me show you around my house real quick. My towel are up to and I still have to remove those uh cement okay. washer oven. It's just really bad in here. Cabinet and countertop are out. Kitchen, everything is out. This is the dining room. All the doors, molding, everything is taken out. Uh, right now, we are just waiting for it to dry. Like the frame and the sheet rocks and everything to uh, remove all the uh, humidity out. And then we can uh, go ahead and put the new sheet rocks in. It's still a lot of work. Over here, see plenty of work. This is the uh, bedroom. I still have this towel that I need to be taken off first too. So, this is the closet. So you know, definitely a lot of work. A lot, a lot of work. Adrian, we don't even have a home to stay now, you know that? Just sleep on the door, right there. You sure? You sure you want to sleep inside the house on the door? Mm, you're going to get sick? This is my favorite thing. So you can see how bad it looks. This does hurt to see this. It's going to take a lot of time and effort and, you know, money, everything to rebuild our home. And hopefully we can bring it back to normal condition like before Daddy. Mm. Adrian is there she don't know what's going on she thought we was just uh, remodeling the house but she yeah. don't know, she know it's flooded. you know it's flooded Adrian huh? you know the house was flooded yeah, she told you mommy don't cry, don't be sad. Yeah, she told mommy don't cry, mommy, we can rebuild a house. 
but she don't know how much or what it takes to rebuild a house. You sure? Uh huh. Like daddy shirt? Let's go paint a rainbow house. Like your shirt? Yeah. Rainbow? Like my unicorn. Oh, you want to turn it into a daycare? <laughs> so I just picked up my sister from school and I got that big old trash can behind the van. Because we lost our dumpster. We lost our trash can during the flood. I cannot find uh, my trash can. So I have to pick one up. And right now, it looks like it's about to be storming or something. Look at this. The cloud is so dark. Again. Man, it's really crazy out here lately. So today we're eating Vietnamese food. Sorry about the way. Grilled pork, right? Grilled pork chop. And just noodles. So the This is mine. It looks good. What is it, Adrian? Hmm? Coke? Oh, here, Daddy have coke. Oh, Daddy have coke. So it was only raining for 30 minutes, and look how uh, much water we have already on the side of the road. I hope this rain stops. So, guys, this is my pile of trash. If you can see, we threw everything out from the house. A bunch of trash. If I was the one that taking out the trash from people's house, I'll be uh, taking off for the whole month to prevent this. Because that's a lot of trash to be picking up. It's hard. Struggling trying to get these glue out. The struggle is real, man. and their cousin to come here and look at the house if they wanted to and that's our little brother right there trying to help out taking out this glue right here So after a long day of remodeling the house, we took the kids to Daddy, eat yogurt. Daddy, look. What? Daddy, look. I can't vlog. Daddy needs you to vlog. Y'all like yogurt or ice cream? Um, yogurt. And why, yogurt. Why do you eat yogurt, Adrian? You like yogurt? Ice cream. Wow, you got yogurt. too much of that ball, Chloe. Mm. Be careful, Adrian. You like it? What are you guys playing? Adrian, don't step on that. What is we that? Nah, -uh. get out. That's chocolate. Don't step on it. That, we do a category and then we have to set, like, for uh, an example. Look, that's chocolate right there. The don't nobody step on it. Colors. Then we do uh, colors. I don't know. Like what are you guys playing? Okay, you know what they're playing with? Pretend like you're a puppy again. Okay, wait for Han come. Han right there. Adrian, what a oh. puppy do? A puppy yes. do what? <laughs> Why you like to be a puppy? Because you like a puppy? I I like puppies. Uh, puppies so 
We're sitting in our brother's house inside one of the rooms we're sleeping in. This is how right now for the time being because uh, our house are being remodeled. So we, you know, at least we have a place to stay. Right now, Ali? If not, you be sleeping in that dirty house right now. Can we? Can we what? Can we sleep in the dirty house? No. Bye. You don't want to get sick? Okay, bye. You're so silly, Adrian. Adrian, where you want to go? Mama, if Daddy, if you want to swim, I'm going to swim. I want to swim. <laughs> no. Why not, Adrian? It's too cold. It's too cold? Was no. the water cold yesterday? No. The water was cold yesterday? The water is too deep. Too deep? But I thought you know how to swim. I can't. You guys put makeup on again? Yes, you did. Daddy just left for 30 minutes. You guys put makeup on again, Adrian. You too? Huh? You ready to go home? In the dirty house? Or you stay here? I'm going to the dirty house. I'll stay here. You sure? I'll stay here. Because this house is so soft. Soft? What are you playing, Adrian? Which pillow do you have? Which pillow do you have there? Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse? Mickey Mouse. You know who gave you that pillow? John. No, it's Mr. T. He lived down the street from us. He gave us four pillow for you. His wife gave you guys four pillow. And that's one of them right there. Adrian, say thank you Mr. T and Mrs. T for giving you the, the pillow. And Mrs. T for the pillow. Goodbye. We love it. You haven't said you haven't said thank you yet. You already said bye. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now you can say bye. Bye. Silly. Thank you, Mr. T, for the pillow. And Mrs. T. And Mrs. T. Y'all love it, huh? Yeah. It's so big. Yep, it's comfy, huh?